the mission of the MK9 is to provide persistent strike and reconnaissance capability to Grand Force commanders. For the Air Force specifically, MQ-9s allow a much smaller deployed footprint. They can deploy a small crew of launch and recovery personnel, such as myself and the maintainers. And it's a huge team effort. It starts with both air crew and the ground control station maintainers. We work together to prepare that half of the system. At the same time, we have crew chiefs and munitions and avionics technicians who all prepare the aircraft. And then as a group effort, we launch that and hand it off to mission control elements that are scattered throughout the country. Northern Strike provides my unit the opportunity to prove out our ability to operate out of an unprepared environment, to pack up and launch our aircraft safely, and provide both the state and federal government the capability to launch the MQ-9 where and when it's needed most. For Northern Strike this year, we're proving out the concept with the ground-based sense and avoid radar. What that allows us to do is climb up into general airspace without a chase plane. This sense and avoid system allows us to see other aircraft all the way down, including birds, and detect and avoid them. So it keeps us and everyone else safe. I just want to thank all of the planners at NGB, as well as uh, the Alpina CRTC for giving us the opportunity to participate in this exercise. Especially our maintainers who have been working incredibly hard to allow us to execute multiple sorties a day. Uh, and the California, North Dakota, and Arizona National Guard for providing the manpower uh, that really made this exercise possible.